Hey guys, Scare9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the five brand new named locations in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Junk Junction. Now, you can find this brand new location on the very top left hand corner of the entire map, and it's actually pretty decent. Now, Junk Junction itself does not have a lot of chests. I would argue in the entirety of the junkyard, there's maybe only three, maybe four if you're lucky with spawns, but there are a couple of peripheral locations that have amazing loot. And these locations definitely make my recommended run for this location worth it. Now, from all of the games I've played in this location thus far, this seems to be a very low traffic area. Honestly, I think the best comparison to existing locations would be Wailing Woods. It has a very low potential for loot, but if you are a player who is not as confident in your 1v1 capabilities or even team wiping, I would definitely recommend Junk Junction to you more than any of the other four brand new locations. So once again, very low traffic and that will correlate to less loot, but there is a couple of different paths you can take to make sure you get the maximum amount of rewards out of this area. Now, right to the north of Junk Junction, you are going to find a giant hill, and on this hill, you are going to find a magnificent metal llama, and this is where I'm going to recommend that you land if you decide to go to this location for your run. Yes, this is an entirely metal llama. It is honestly like the coolest addition in the entirety of the Fortnite map. I'm a huge fan of really funny additions like this, so I think it's really cool. So what you're gonna wanna do is land on the head of the llama. Now, this metal llama has has the potential for two separate chests to spawn within it and they can spawn at the same time. So land on the llama's head, mine down into it and there will be the location for the first chest right in the head cavity. Then you are going to want to mine down into the main body cavity of the llama or find your way around the back of it because in the entrance on its back you will be able to find the location for the second chest. Now once you have gathered whatever chests or weapons or other materials spawned near the llama I would make my way down into Junk Junction and finish off whatever players are left down there as well as picking up any remaining loot in the area. So you're probably going to want to continue looting while you make your way to the circle. And if the location of the next zone permits, I would definitely recommend going immediately to the location in square C2. Now this is like a little mini castle or group of houses. It's really hard to explain, but it is really, really good for loot. In this one spot, there's about three to four chests and there are about five buildings to clear. It's really kind of hard to tell what's a building. It could be considered as one big one or a couple small broken ones, but either way, this location is very good. Now there is one hidden chest for this location in the one part that looks like the top of a castle, there's actually a chest right in the top of the roof. And in order to get it, you have to break the steeple looking top and then you can climb up to it and claim that chest as well. Now from this point, you can pretty much continue on anywhere in the map. That's your initial start that you're going to need to get to get all of that loot and give you a good chance of winning the game. Now from here, I would recommend a couple of different things depending on where the zone goes. You can go over straight east to the new motel location, or you can go down to Pleasant Park. Like I said, it really just depends where the zone loads in at this point. But pretty much that's all there is to Junk Junction. So let me know what you guys think about this brand new location down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you are interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to more awesome Fortnite videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.